So today we will talk about light. What is light? Light is energy that travels in straight lines called rays that comes from the source of the light. Light energy which can be seen is called visible spectrum. The main source of light is sun. We have other sources of light such as light bulb and the moon. The moonlight that we see is the sunlight that falls on the moon's surface and reflects light. So, how does light travel? Light travels in a straight line. Let's see here this experiment. Okay. Here we have a um, tube or a wooden box or whatever. Uh, we have a hole. We, we, we have two sides of this box. So uh, one of them we will make a hole and the other side we will make it semi-transparent. We will put a candle in front here. You put a candle in front of the hole and let's see what happens. As we can see here, uh, the image of the flame uh, will be shown on the other side in front of the semi-transparent side and the image will be uh, minimized and inv inverted, which indicates that light travels in straight line. Okay, so how does shadow form? An object that does not allow light rays to pass through will form a shadow. Okay, let's try this. You can try to put your hand near a light bulb and you will see your hand's shadow. Now try to put your hand closer to the light bulb and you will see that the shadow becomes bigger. Conclusion from this is that light travels in a straight line. Okay, transparent and opaque objects. We have three types of objects. Transparent object is the object that lets light pass through with no shadows formed, such as a clear window. Semi-transparent object is the object that lets only some light go through and forms a shadow that is very light, such as bathroom window. Opaque objects is the objects is the object that lets no light pass through and forms a shadow. Uh, such as a table, a chair, any form of food. Okay, light reflection. Reflection occurs when a light tray hits a surface and, and bounces off, so this reflection makes you see the object. So when you enter a dark room, you cannot see the object simply because there is no light rays falling on any object. Okay, light reflection happens uh, on two types of surfaces, smooth surface and rough surface. When it comes to smooth surface, such as a mirror, this rises. You can stand in front of a mirror and you, when you stand in front of a mirror, you will see your image. This is because mirror is smooth and bright. So if light falls, it will be reflected. This light uh, bouncing is known as light reflection. Reflected rays reach your eyes directly so you can see your picture. This reflection is known as regular reflection. Okay, rough surface. Uh, okay, let's try this. Uh, try to hold a piece of a white paper. What will happen? You won't see your image. Why? Because paper surface is considered a rough surface, not as smooth, not as smooth as a, a mirror. It contains tiny holes, so when light falls on a paper surface, it reflects and scatters in different directions and what you see is the paper only. This reflection is known as irregular reflection. So now we have two types of reflection. Regular reflection on a smooth surface and irregular reflection on rough surface. Okay, let's go to uh, light refraction. Okay, when light rays enter a new median at an angle, the speed of the light rays changes. Uh, that causes them to bend or change direction. This is light refraction. Uh, we have an example, we can try it at home. Uh, we can put a pencil in a, uh, in a glass of water. Uh, you will see that the pencil is, is broken, but in real it's not broken. This is due to light refraction. 
Okay, light separation. Um, okay, when light rays enter the triangular prism, it splits into the seven colors called the spectrum colors. Red, orange, yellow, uh, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Uh, when sunlight passes through water droplets during rain falling or suspend the droplets in the air, you will see the rainbow. Okay, let's solve some exercises. Complete the following. The prism separ separ uh, separates sunlight into seven spectrum colors, as we just said before. Uh, light travels in straight lines. Number three. Light can easily transmit, transmit through uh, transparent and semi-transparent materials. Number four. Uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet are all called and uh, uh, spectrum colors. Okay, um, but the scientific term seven colors, which the light is made up of, we just said it before. Uh, uh, spectrum colors number two: the change of light rays direction when passed through separating surface between two transparent media. Refraction. Number three, the light energy that can be seen. Uh, we said that uh, at the beginning of the lesson, visible spectrum. Number four, material that does not allow light to travel. As we said before, we have three types of materials, transparent, semi-transparent, and opaque materials. Uh, we said that uh, transparent and semi-materials allow light to travel. Uh, and the only one that does not allow light to travel and form a shadow is opaque materials, such as wood. Okay, uh, right or wrong? Object shadow is formed because light travels in curved, ray, in curved lines? Of course, this is wrong. We said that light travels in straight lines. Two, uh, light is a form of energy? Yes, that's right. Light is, of course, one... Uh, of the energy form. Uh, number three, the, the glass prism separates the white light into thin spectrum colors. Uh, of course, this is wrong. We said that uh, white light uh, will uh, be separated into seven spectrum colors. Okay, choose the correct answer. The nearer object to the light source has the uh, bigger, smaller, fainted shadow. Of course, it's a bigger. It's the bigger shadow. The near the object from the source, uh, from the light bulb, as we mentioned before, uh, the bigger the shadow will be. Number two, all the following examples of transparent materials, except okay, we have here clear glass, book, clear water. Okay, clear glass uh, uh, reflects light. Clear water reflects light, however, book does not reflect light. So, uh, uh, the answer will be B, book. Number three, the first spectrum color is, uh, that's easy, it's a red. Thank you.